Hi there, today we're going to talk about the humor regulator for the R10. Um, it's, it, it'll arrive um, preset to, for your rifle. Um, there's a couple of O-rings on the main body and there's a warning label on the end which says warning high pressure do not open. It's got an XXA logo and my website. Um, the reason I have this warning label on is if the regulator is fitted onto a rifle um, and the, there's pressure in the rifle um, there will be bottle pressure acting on the piston that's inside this regulator so if you happen to open the regulator um, the piston will come shooting out at you and cause you serious damage so please do not open this regulator when it is fitted to the rifle and the rifle has air pressure in it it is extremely dangerous things that can happen when you install these um, the there's a little screw in the regulator block um, there's one here um, excuse us it's just a tester um, the regulator would fit into regu regulate regulator block there um, there's the screw sometimes they're a little bit long and what happens when you screw it in it can it can damage that o-ring if that happens you'll notice when you repressurize your gun uh, the power will be pretty low um, at high power um, at, at a high pressure and then as the bottle pressure drops the power will gradually step up and um, that's normally a sign that you're getting full bottle pressure through to your rifle rather than regulated pressure um, and if that does happen replace that o-ring um, if you screwed it in and you're getting air leaking out um, around where the head sticks out of the regulator chances are it's not screwed in all the way quite often people phone me and go oh I'm getting a leak it's because they haven't removed the o-ring from inside the um, regulator block which is in the instructions um, and then that means that the regulator doesn't screw in all the way when it screws in there should be no gap if you've got a gap between the regulator block and the regulator it's not screwed in enough and chances are it will leak um, so yeah, make sure there's nothing absolutely nothing inside that hole so take out the o-rings and all the brass bits otherwise you'll have problems right moving on um, the there is an adjuster which you can see here which um, you can adjust with a, a flat screwdriver um, I, I've said it in the video and I'll say it again uh, in the fitting video um, don't adjust this unless you know what you're doing you will trash your regulator and make your rifle do all sorts of things that you don't want it to do only adjust this if you know what you're doing you've been warned um, on the regulator tightening it so clockwise reduces the regulator pressure anti-clockwise increases the regulator pressure generally when the regulator arrives it'll be preset by me based on the information you've given me so if it's an FAC it'll be set for FAC pressure levels if it's set for you know if you've told me a sub 12 foot pound I'd set it for a sub 12 foot pound um, some people do like to tinker um, and by all means do that but it's you know it's at your own risk don't get in touch with me and go oh, my, my, my rifle's rubbish since I fitted your regulator but I've adjusted it if you've adjusted it I'll gladly reset it for you but it's you know it's not my fault that it's not doing what it's meant to do if you've messed with it um, right um, and normally when I've set it I put um, a, a dab of either red or green block lock which is basically a, a, a anti it basically stops the thing from moving and also lets me know if you've adjusted it um, then uh, next thing is there is um, as it's a mechanical part um, there is a chance that you could get leaking if you if you see there's a little vent hole um, in there I don't know if you can see it properly um, but anyway there's a tiny little vent hole there if you get air leaking out of that there's a chance that the um, o-rings on your um, piston may be on their way out um, the cap unscrews, it can be quite tight, obviously you can see it's not fitted to the rifle, don't try and do this when it's fitted to the rifle, you will go to hospital. Um, right, there we go, cap comes off, it's a steel cap, um, and then you'll see there's a, a brass brass part, and there's a threaded bit. Um, that thread is um, there for a reason, it's so that you can remove the piston um, without stripping down the whole regulator. Um, so this is just an M5 I think it is, just double check so I don't mislead you, yeah it's an M5 which just this is just a normal gutter bolt, um, you screw that into the back of the regulator a couple of turns and then you can pull the piston out and um, 
Right, there's the little plastic seal. That's the, the seal that closes the regulator. Um, you'll notice some of the um, disc springs or valve or washers have stayed in the in the regulator. There we go. They've come out. Um, make a note of how they um, how they were fitted because it does make a difference to how the rifle works. Um, if you if you change the order of these, the regulator will work to a different pressure setting, and that's one of the things I do before I send it to you. If you tell me you want it set at say 75 bar, then I have to arrange the springs to suit a 75 bar regulator. If you tell me you want it um, set for a higher pressure, I then have to alter the springs, and in fact add another one um, for the higher pressure settings. So it's best to make a note of it, but don't adjust it unless you know what you're doing. Um, right, the O-rings I was talking about, there's one there, and there's one there. Um, if if they get damaged or worn over time, um, you'll get air leaking out of that little vent hole, uh, there it is, um, and they need to be changed. And you'll notice I've pulled this out without touching that, so basically if I've set it um, at whatever pressure to suit your rifle, um, you can strip the regulator, you can um, if need be, you can replace the seal, you can replace the O-rings and put it back together without touching the setting so that it goes back at pretty much the same pressure it needs to be. Um, and that's why this was fitted with a threaded threaded hole in it to help extracting it without upsetting the, the settings on the regulator. Um, so this one's not leaking, it's all fine. I'm, I only stripped it to show you. Um, so I'll put it back together. The little plastic disc goes in first, and then the piston goes in. There you go. Just pops back in. Unscrew that. Screw the cap back on. Make sure that this O ring's in good condition. If it's not, then obviously replace it. And tighten it up. It doesn't need to be stupidly tight, but basically tighten it until the gap's closed. If there's a gap in there, there's a chance that the air may leak out. So just tighten it up. You notice I haven't used any tools. Um, some of them may be a little bit tighter than others, but generally you should be able to do it by hand. Um, if not, you could always um, wrap a little bit of leather around it to protect it and then use some, some grips to, to loosen it. You shouldn't need to use grips to tighten it. Um, and there we go.